First of all, using manual as an automatic. By using a manual as you would an automatic, the manual pump will overheat and break. Automatic models will operate until their off level is triggered. However, with manual, as long as power is supplied, it continues to operate. Some pumps have inbuilt features to prevent the pump from overheating. However, not all of them do. Secondly, you don't want it to be underpowered or overpowered. When choosing a pump, ensure that the pump is suitable for the task at hand. Check the flow rate and the head height of the pump. You need to consider the depth of the puddle and the distance that the water needs to be moved so the pump isn't underpowered or overpowered. Thirdly, we have dry running. By leaving a pump on, you will run the risk of the pump running dry. Dry running is where the pump is operating, however, there is no water. By doing this, the impellers and the components inside can wear out and break. To avoid this with manuals, keep an eye on the water. And once the pump has transferred the water down to its minimum depth, switch the pump off. With automatic models, some may have off switches that run for an additional minute after use. To avoid dry running with these, you can simply put the off level slightly higher than your preferred depth. Fourthly, we have got chemicals. There are some aggressive liquids that would corrode and break pumps. Chemicals found in swimming pools and hot tubs can easily wear down and break pumps rather quickly, invalidating warranties and leaving you without a pump. To avoid this, look for pumps that state they are resistant to these chemicals. This can also be applied to temperatures. Some pumps are able to withstand certain conditions. If you're pumping water that has chemicals or is at a high or low temperature, please check the pump is suitable first. And lastly, we have lack of maintenance. A lack of maintenance can lead to early failure with pumps, whether that be corrosion, blockages, or storage conditions of the pump. You can help with the maintenance of the pump by cleaning the pump out with clean water, checking for any blockages if it's safe to do so, and storing the pump in clean and suitable conditions. Some pumps are built to withstand certain conditions, such as corrosion, but it's always good to check your pumps and keep them in good shape. If you do have any questions, feel free to comment below.